Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report. In this video, we are talking about the rapture, Armageddon, and the second coming of Christ, and what is real, and what is biblically sound, and what is fiction and made up. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and if you're new here, I'm Winston Mayo, this is the Blessing Report, and let's get to the show. All of my gang gon' go, all of my gang gon' go, they with me. All of my angels gon' go, all of my angels gon' go, they Welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for comedy and conviction, entertainment, edification. I'm Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy, and we are having a really cool video today. We're talking about I'm Christian and the rapture is not real. Um, the differences between the rapture, Armageddon, and the second coming of Christ. And um, let's just get into it. So uh, we're going to start with the idea of the rapture and where it comes from and why it is not biblically sound and as a Christian we should stop really um, teaching it because you're not gonna find it anywhere so just an easy one is that you will not find the word rapture in the Bible and what the rapture is um, cognitively <laughs> is that there is a secret um, exodus or leaving of Christians uh, from the world um, by God where he takes away his chosen and leaves everyone else left behind. I know everyone has watched the Kirk Cameron movies, but that idea of a secret coming of Christ or a secret um, exodus of Christians is not sound biblically and what it hints at are actual biblically sound elements that are the second coming of Christ and Armageddon. And so where um, is the notion of God choosing people to be left behind while um, people who are saved get taken up to heaven? So it comes from a lot of scriptures, but mainly the misconception comes from Matthew 24. But um, what actually happens, or what does the Bible teach about Armageddon and the second coming of Christ? This comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, and it's actually people asking in that time period, like, yo, what's gonna happen when we die? What's gonna happen with the second coming of Christ? Like, when do we know Jesus coming back? So it says, but I would not have you to be ignorant, um, brethren, concerning them that are asleep, which are dead that ye do not sorrow, even as others which have no hope. We have hope. <laughs> uh, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we shall say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with a voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we um, ever be with the Lord, wherefore comfort one with another these words. So that's the main point, but I'm just going to parallel um, with a couple others. Revelations 1 um, verse 7, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who, are, uh, who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him, even so. Amen. Second Peter uh, 3.10, and it says, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will burn up and dissolve, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Boom! Ha! Finished it. All right, so the reason the rapture is unbiblical, but the second coming of Christ and Armageddon is biblical is because of how visual and how audible the second coming of Christ is. In the scriptures, we see that literally this thing is so loud. That's why the rapture isn't true. There is no secret coming and um, sifting out of Christians, but 
um, non-Christians, Christians, saved, unsaved, are, we're going to see like heaven open up and like the reason why people get taken up is that angels are descending and like um, picking God's chosen or um, people who are going to go to heaven. So this is why um, we really need to not go off of movies for our theology. We all know how uh, <laughs> bad that Noah movie was. Why? Because it was not biblically sound. And I know a lot of people like the Kirk Cameron Left Behind movies, but they are not biblically sound. Right here we have in scriptures, 1 Thessalonians 4, that the dead, when Jesus comes back, heaven opens up the sky. There is a loud trumpet and archangels um, crying like loud, like a shout. I just wanna get across how, ooh, man, how visual and how audible the second coming of Christ is. Um, and that's why the rapture is not something that we should teach and not something that we should um, continue on with. And so um, where does the misconception of secrecy come from? It comes mainly from um, Matthew 24. Um, the verses, the whole chapter, if you want to know about the second coming of Christ, is about the second coming of Christ. So if you want to know, like, why does it say um, Jesus will come like lightning? Um, no one knows the time or the hour. The secrecy is the time, not the event. So um, even the Bible says, Jesus um, says that the Father knows the day and the time and the hour, but the Son does not. So when it talks about Jesus will come like lightning, it means like the suddenness of his coming, not the suddenness of the event. So. That's why um, we have to have good sound theology and not go off of that Noah movie, not the Left Behind movies, not Hollywood, but what does the scripture say? So um, this is the thing about, oh man, did I get left behind? You did not get left behind because everybody's gonna know, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. And um, lastly, it talks about um, you do not want to die the second death. So uh, what that means is that when the dead in Christ go to heaven, when the alive in Christ go to heaven, there uh, are people who are already dead before the second coming of Christ. And with that, um, for them to experience eternal hellfire, they kind of kind of have to be resurrected in death. So the left behind people will die like the first um, death which is technically their final death, right? And they go to hell. But if you are already dead and um, you need to, I guess, like live to die again, <laughs> um, to go to hell, that is the second death. The rapture just says like people um, just go up into heaven and then everybody's just left behind and they go to hell. They have no account for the people who already died and who are not alive during Armageddon and the second coming of Christ. So that's why um, the scripture with the study show ourself approved, rightly dividing the word of truth. So don't get your theology from movies, don't get it from hearsay, and don't get it from assumptions. Go to the scriptures, 1 Thessalonians 4, Matthew 24 are your big ones um, and also Matthew 13 about the wheat and the tares. So that's my time but let me hear from you. Um, what do you see in the Bible about the rapture, um, the second coming of Christ and Armageddon because Armageddon is the only word um, in the rapture and in Armageddon that's in the Bible. So what do you see? Um, how do you see it being taught in churches? And how do you see um, like movies and Hollywood portraying the second coming of Christ, Armageddon, and the rapture? So if this video has been informative to you, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And remember, I have a set schedule. I finally got it. I finally got it. New Music Mondays, 7 o'clock. Wisdom Wednesdays, like teaching videos on Wednesdays. And Funny Fridays at 7 o'clock. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, new videos. Um, so um, come back on all our social media platforms, connect with us 
um, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all social media at The Blessing Report or Winston Mayo. And um, just remember everything important is in the description box below. So that's all the music I'm playing, all the Bible verses, and all the um, ways to connect with us. <laughs> and remember that this video has been sponsored by <laughs> my books, Searching for Land, and my newest release, the Science of Salvation, the Manual for Manufacturing Manipulating Faith. And I just want to thank you for watching. Um, please share this video so all of us can have good theology and be biblically sound. And um, thank you. And remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing to someone else today? Thanks for watching. All of my gang gon' go, all of my gang gon' go, they with me. All of my edges don't go, all of my edges don't go, they with me. That is my God for show, that is my God for show, he with me. All of my gang gon' go, all of my gang gon' go. Yeah, yeah. I just pull it up with the chopper, I just pull it up with the chopper. Yeah, yeah.